Hey guys, it's Fips slash Chompsy slash Albano the Mexican slash Spuds slash Jeremiah slash Quentin slash Mayonnaise. And we're playing Assassin's Creed Revelations as the Renegade on Wanted. Yeah. So yeah, as you guys might have guessed, I definitely have not come up with a new name for myself. But, um, you know, it's a process. We'll get there eventually. I just sometimes wish I just hadn't have named myself Albino the Mexican to start with. Because then I wouldn't be having this problem. What if initially I was just like, hey guys, it's me. Blankety name cleverness. And, uh, yeah, we wouldn't be having this problem right now. But that is not the case, and therefore, yeah, we have to worry about freaking naming myself now. But, uh, whatever, you know. Eh, not a big deal. So, let's get back to the topic at hand, which this episode, in this episode, is procrastination, and, um, you know, how to avoid it, how it comes about, and all those kinds of things. It might go off on a few tangents. Oh, double stun, biatch! Sorry, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to go all ghetto on you guys there for a second, because, you know, I'm not. But, uh, yeah, so, procrastination. What is it, first of all, for people who don't know? Procrastination just means putting something off for a very long time, until essentially the last minute where you basically can't really even do something well enough for it to be called a completed project, which, I mean, that's my explanation of what procrastination is. Other people could think differently, but, um, you know, basically, if we're going down to the roots, that's pretty much what it is, is putting something off until the last minute and then doing it and doing a crappy job. Unless you're just, like, really good at something and, you know, I don't know, but then I wouldn't consider that procrastination. Anyways, as I was saying, procrastination. You may possibly be procrastinating right now as you're watching my YouTube video because a lot of people actually, when they're procrastinating, don't even think about what they have to do during the day or during the week or during the month or within whatever schedule you have to do something within. You know, like, it just goes to the back of their mind because, oh, it's not due tomorrow, I'll just wait. And then, yeah, you know, that's the main thing about procrastination, at least I think psychologically, is you don't think something that you need to do is urgent and therefore you just put it off. And, um... You know, it's really hard to escape that mindset just because it's just how the brain's gonna work, you know. If it's not due that day, then I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to. But yeah, I think that's, that's actually like the first step in avoiding procrastination is when something is due, start doing it on the day that you find out it's due, if that makes sense. Like, um, if you find out an essay's due, start thinking of at least a premise of what your essay is gonna be on because, you know, if you keep on waiting and just don't even think about it, you're going to be a lot more screwed. And even thinking about the essay without even having to do anything is already a great start for um, starting an essay. You know, if, if you're thinking about it a lot later on, then you're not going to really do as good of a job, as opposed to at least mentally starting your essay and, you know, getting sort of a basis of what you're going to say, you know. So, um, yeah, I guess that's like the little baby step to not procrastinating. That's the first step towards bettering yourself or something very motivational sounding. So uh, once you start doing that kind of stuff and you feel like you're still procrastinating and you need a little bit more motivation or something, I mean actually motivation is the main thing about procrastination, but back to the point, if you need a little bit more guidance towards, you know, not procrastinating, I think the next step would definitely be to set aside time to do the long-term projects that are due in your class whatever day that they're due. And, um, you know, do that stuff before you do your actual homework that's due that day. Uh, at least making sure that you set aside time to do that other homework. And I feel like I'm tripping over my words or, like, getting you guys lost because I'm saying, do this or do that, so I'm just going to provide, like, an example. Uh, I'm going to use an essay again and then just, like, math homework or something. Like, you always have math homework and you always have science homework. So let's say you have an essay due next week. And, um, you know, it's Monday. You've still got time. And you have math and science homework every day. So I think first set aside like two hours that you'll do at the end of the day for math and science homework and before that do your essay, work on the essay because um, if you do it afterwards you're going to be really unmotivated and just be like, oh, I just finished all my homework, I want to play video games or something like that because I know I'm like that or maybe not video games or just browsing Facebook or the internets or 9gag, god I can waste hours on 9gag but <laughs> Yeah, avoid 9gag at all costs if you if you know you're a procrastinator because that is like the proponent of procrastinating power and paralysis. A lot of peas. I don't even think that made sense, but <laughs> it sounded cool in my head so I said it. So yeah, set aside time before your daily homework to do your long-term homework because 
Otherwise, you're just not going to do it. You're going to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it after, and then you're just not going to do it because I know you because I am you, <laughs> in a sense, because, you know, honor students. The difference between honor students and not honor students, like, you know, people who just don't do their homework, is honor students know how to procrastinate well, and people who just don't do their homework just don't have any motivation to do anything. They're just like, why do I need school? Why do I need to learn about World War II and guns and things like that? And then they play Call of Duty and they're like, yeah, M240, heavy machine guns on my turrets, AC-130. But I mean, yeah, so honor students always want to get their homework done at all costs. Doesn't matter, you know, how late it is or what time of day or how they even get it done because you know, honor students actually copy a lot of homework compared to not honor students. But uh, yeah, that's beside the point. In order to procrastinate well, you need to be able to have a premise, which is what I was talking about in the beginning. Like, if you at least formulate ideas of what you're going to do, if you have a solid game plan before you do your procrastinating stuff, that's good, but you definitely just shouldn't be procrastinating in the first place. You should just do your stuff, set aside time, and you'll be fine, I think. You know, and that's the hardest thing to do, is actually saying, okay, I'm going to set aside time, and I'm actually going to do what I say I'm going to do. Because, yeah, like, that's that's the hardest part, honestly. One other thing to prevent procrastination, and uh, I actually am guilty of not doing this, or innocent of not guilty of this action, not... One thing that I do that I definitely shouldn't do is, um, you need to separate like church and state. I have air quotes, but you can't really see me air quoting with my fingers. Um, by church and state, I mean like work and play in that sense, if you guys know what I'm saying. Like my room is full of toys and fun things and, you know, I also have my desk and all my homework there and that's definitely not a good thing because it's so much easier to just stop doing your work and playing Xbox or something like that. And, um, you know, that's just, that's definitely not something you should do. You should have an area where you work, maybe like the kitchen or something. I know a lot of people, you know, work in the kitchen or, you know, the dining room, whatever you want to call it, because kitchens and dining rooms are not the same. But yeah, um, work in one place and, um, you know, play in another place. Some people have completely separate playrooms, and that's great. Um, I actually heard that if you have a lot of mentally engaging things in your bedroom, it's actually harder for you to fall asleep because there are so many things in there. Like, your brain gets trained to be like, this is fun zone, or this is work zone, and it's not sleep zone. So try and keep your bedroom simple, like a bedroom. Take out the TV, move it to another room, you know. If your house is small and minimal, uh, then just don't worry about that because you can't really do anything. But try not to have a TV in your room, try and keep the desktop downstairs in your room. I have a laptop, which is probably not a good thing for, um, you know separating things because I can just move it upstairs but yeah try and work in one place try and play in another place and try and sleep in another place and you'll be better off that way because then you won't be distracted by the other two you won't be pulled in three different directions and I'm usually not pulled by sleep but you know because <laughs> I just get terrible nights of sleep but yeah um, I think that's the final thing I can really say about procrastination the ironic part about this video is I'm actually using this video to procrastinate, to put off doing my college application things. So yeah, I should probably get back to that. Um, anything else I have to say? If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, leave comments, leave some nice or mean or constructive things in the comment section. And um, yeah, I don't know, the game's got a minute left, so... Oh, quickly, before I talk about anything else, because, you know, this is my channel, so I have to talk about my channel, because I'm Albano the Mexican, or Phipps, or Chomsky, or Spuds, or Jeremiah, or Mayonnaise, or whatever. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about the upcoming schedule. Not really a schedule, but just videos that are going to come out. I don't know if I'm going to continue the Borderlands Let's Play, just because I'm lazy and fat. Uh, but, yeah, I'm also... This is the last Assassin's Creed Revelations video that I have on my computer. If you guys want to see more, I will record more, but otherwise I think I'm just going to go back to Gotham City Impostors. And I can do both if you guys want me to, but I really just, I need your feedback in the comment section, because otherwise I'm just doing things blind, and honestly, it doesn't matter much to me. I don't really care which one I upload, so it's really up to you guys. Um, so yeah, let me know in the description what you want to see, and um, get ready for Assassin's Creed 3 when that comes out. That's in uh, 24 days on the day that I upload this, so yeah. Uh, Renegade. Wanted.
Finished first. Yeah. So until next time, this is your host, signing off.